And part of walking in the spirit is walking away from temptation. Well, did you know that the story of Joseph also demonstrates the importance of fleeing temptation? All right, let's recap. So Joseph's brothers got jealous of him because they knew he was gifted. They knew that God was with him. And they threw him in a pit and they sold him into slavery. But God was with Joseph and his gifts and his talents were noticed by an Egyptian official named Potiphar. And he hired Joseph. Well, did you know that when Joseph worked for Potiphar, the wife of Potiphar tried to make sexual advances towards him? Please, you should not be here. Really? And not just once, but on multiple occasions. Okay, let's, let's read this. Genesis 39. So Potiphar left everything he had in Joseph's care. With Joseph in charge, he did not concern himself with anything except for the food that he ate. Now, Joseph was well built and handsome. And after a while, his master's wife took notice of Joseph and said, come to bed with me. And he refused. And he said to her, how could I do such a wicked thing and sin against God? Wow. The reason Joseph did not sleep with her was because he did not want to sin against God. He chose righteousness. Now, if Joseph had given in to lust and slept with her, we don't know what would have happened in his story. If Potiphar found out that Joseph was sleeping with his wife, you know, he might have had Joseph killed. Who knows? But so that he could follow God, Joseph chose to not accept her advances. He refused to follow his flesh. He didn't sleep with her. Let's continue. And though she spoke to Joseph day after day, he refused to go to bed with her or even be with her. Wow. He was so serious about his walk with God that he would try to avoid her altogether. One day he went into the house to attend to his duties and none of the household servants were inside. And she caught him by the cloak and said, come to bed with me. But he left his cloak in her hand and ran out of the house. So this time Joseph runs out of the house. This is the response that we have to have to sin. We have to repeatedly say no, like Joseph did. And then we have to do whatever we can to avoid it like Joseph did. And if temptation still shows up, if you got to run, run, flee sin at all costs. And so she got mad about that. And she lied and said that he tried to take advantage of her. And she had him thrown in prison. But while there, what happened? He met someone who had connections to the Pharaoh of Egypt and Joseph found favor with the Pharaoh. And Joseph ended up being placed in charge over the entire land of Egypt. And that allowed him to save his family from famine. Now, let me ask you this. What action allowed for Joseph to be placed in that position? His faithfulness to God. If he had slept with Potiphar's wife, that entire chain reaction would never have happened. You see the importance of walking in the spirit? Joseph had to deny his flesh. He had to be thrown in prison so that he could meet the Pharaoh and become a ruler in Egypt so that he could save his entire family. The point is, be faithful to God because you never know how many lives will benefit from your faithfulness. Now think about this. 
By saving his family, Joseph ended up saving the entire lineage of God's people, which then preserved the promise that God gave to Abraham, which eventually led to the genealogy of Jesus, who had to be born from that family. And it is through Jesus that we all have faith and are saved. And through that faith, we get to inherit the kingdom. And so all of that is an after effect of Joseph resisting the temptation of his flesh. You see how chain reactions work? And so remember, when you walk in the spirit, not only will you be blessed, but others will be blessed as well. And so by any means necessary, flee temptation, flee lust, flee sin, run like Joseph with everything you have because there's too much on your timeline for you to lose. That was a clip from the Walking in the Spirit movie. And uh, we wanted to just emphasize here that when Joseph refused to give in to his flesh, it led to a chain of events that blessed not just himself, but all of God's people. Sometimes God calls you to flee sin for a purpose bigger than yourself. Remain faithful. And that's why we shared this clip, because it really ties into a lot of what we're going to be covering in the Repentance movie. It's coming January 28th. Mark your calendars. This is going to be a documentary to watch with it whoever you can, as many as you can, this is going to be a great blessing for you and whoever sees it with you. We hope you will enjoy that. It's going to cover faithfulness to God and even steps to overcoming addiction. Take care.